All right, so DJing with the Steam Deck. My first thought was to try and get Record Box working with Wine, but after looking into it, that seems like a no-go. So I decided to look into an alternative that works on Linux. According to a few forums, it does look like others have had success getting Tractor working on Linux with Wine, but there's still no guarantee it will run well on the Steam Deck. And besides, I think I found a better solution anyway. And it's actually quite a bit more straightforward than I expected, as there's a great program for DJing called Mix available for free download right in the Discover Store. So let's give that a try. In this video, I'll be going through the process of getting Mix installed on your Steam Deck and getting a DJ controller and audio set up. I'll go over the features that Mix has and compare it to other DJ software like Rekordbox and Tractor. Anyway, let's get right into it after the drop. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open the Discover Store and search for Mix with three X's at the end and just hit install. The first time it launches, it should ask you to set a directory for the music library. I actually hadn't set up my music folder before launching it, so I went back later and set up the folder in the settings, which was pretty easy to do. To get music onto the deck, I used a USB flash drive and I put about 250 songs on it. I then used a USB-C dongle to transfer the songs onto a folder named music on my SD card. Once I had the folder set up, Mix scanned the files, which for me took under 30 seconds, but would likely take longer with a larger library. Once it was done scanning, the library window showed all of my tracks. Next up was getting my DJ controller set up. I use a Pioneer DDJ400 controller. Well, it's actually a DDJ400HA, a limited edition version of the controller that is a crossover with the group Happy Around from the anime D4DJ. But other than the special logos and color scheme, it's essentially just a normal DDJ400. I wasn't sure what the experience of getting the controller set up would be, and was really hoping I wouldn't need to go through and manually set up everything. But luckily, Mix had a map for my controller just built in, as well as maps for a bunch of other popular DJ controllers people use. Next up was getting audio set up, which once again just immediately worked without any issues. Mix even had the proper channel set up for my controller listed on their website, which was another great touch. Alright, now that I have everything set up, let's go ahead and just try it out. I got all my tracks analyzed, so I'm just going to go ahead and start DJing while I talk about my experience with it. First up, let's talk about the UI. Design-wise, Mix fits right in with basically every other DJ software. Library at the bottom, then effects, then mixer, and then decks on the top with each waveform of each track stacked on top of each other just like in Record Box. I definitely still prefer how the tracks are laid out in Tractor compared to this, but that's all personal preference, and this does seem to be the way the majority of DJ programs display the tracks. There are a few different skins available for the UI, but I just stuck with the default dark theme, since it looks a lot like other DJ programs, so that's what I'm used to. The only big issue with the UI is really just an issue with the deck itself, and that's the fact that the UI is pretty cramped and some text is pretty small, which is an issue with many games on the Steam Deck too. For me at least, this actually wasn't a deal breaker though, as before the pandemic I actually did multiple DJ gigs where I used Tractor on a GPD Win 2, which has an even smaller screen. It honestly worked pretty well, and actually was a pretty good conversation starter with the other DJs too. Plus, I mean a lot of people use CDJs, and those have pretty tiny screens too. By default, it displays waveforms in RGB, but there are a few other display options to choose from. One thing I found to be a really cool touch is that the waveform actually adjusts in real time. Turn the trim knob up and the waveform gets bigger. Dial up the low EQ and the amount of red in the waveform grows. I don't even think that's a feature in Record Box. 
One thing I did kind of find odd about Mix, though, is just the way it handles the sync button. And yeah, I know the whole real DJs don't use sync thing or whatever, but honestly, I tend to use it more often than not. For me, using sync gives me more opportunity to interact with the crowd, do cool things with effects, or even VJ at the same time I'm DJing. Honestly, I think the whole sync debate is just kind of stupid. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get into the odd way sync works in Mix. What I expected to happen when hitting the sync button was like a universal sync mode to turn on for the deck, setting the BPM for the current track and all future tracks you load in. But what actually happens is it will just sync the current track on the side you hit that button to the track on the other deck, and doesn't actually continue to sync past that. To activate universal sync, you actually hold down the sync button for a second or two, then it finally acts how I expected it to. Beyond that, it does seem to be just a basic BPM sync. I have definitely been spoiled by the super great beat sync in Record Box, and this is nowhere near as good as that, but it gets the job done, and at least is as good as the sync in Tractor. Next up, let's talk about effects. Basically every DJ program seems to handle effects slightly differently, and with my controller being designed to work with Record Box, controlling effects in Mix just isn't as good. The left and right arrows that usually control beat length of the effects in Record Box are instead used to switch between the first and second effects in Mix, with seemingly no way to access the third effect or switch between different effects types. Beyond that though, effects do work as expected. The switch on the controller to change between decks and the master effects knob both work as intended. Although, Mix itself doesn't seem to have many options for effects, but I kinda expected that to be the case since it's a completely free program. Everything else on my DJ controller worked as I expected, which was really great. I tested basically everything. Every knob worked as expected, browsing and loading tracks wasn't an issue, the beat loop and loop in out buttons all worked. Surprisingly, even the shift button worked properly, as I was able to remove cue points by holding shift and hitting on an existing cue point. Basically everything just worked. Overall DJing on the Steam Deck was surprisingly great. Going in, I certainly didn't expect things to go this well, and for everything to just work so well, especially with the issues I've had with Tractor on Windows in the past. I really didn't expect there to be such a great DJ program just in the Discover Store that's absolutely free, especially a program that's this polished, and that's pretty close to feature parity with Record Box and Tractor. I think the best way I can summarize everything is with these three words. It just works. Anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video, and especially thank everyone who actually made it this far. This is only my fifth video, so I really appreciate everyone who's watching. I plan to keep making videos on all sorts of tech and gaming topics, and I'm also planning on making a video where I attempt to use the Steam Deck for music production and see if I can get FL or Ableton installed. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that too. Thanks for watching.